Another thing that I like doing is I like doing crafts. Mm. Like I love making things. I love that since I was little. I used to make things for my American girls when I was little. <laughs> and then like in my Barbie dolls and all. And like, yeah. And um, actually recently I was making stuff for my room because I'm trying to turn my room into mm. like a sci-fi room. Oh. I, I love sci-fi. I'm kind of a nerd. <laughs> One year for Christmas I asked for, actually it was a couple years ago actually, I asked for a, um, an astrophysics book. Oh, <laughs> just for fun. You know, talking about dolls and making stuff for your dolls, I would love to share this with the viewers one day. It's like a fun craft. Oh. Growing up, I made stuff for my dolls. My mom was a seamstress, so I learned to sew from we'll watching. We'll have to her. do that for one of our, our IGTVs. Soon. Yes, but what it is is that, what I'm trying to say is that, we, we, we're talking about coconut, mm -hmm. and that fits in with it. Oh. So what we see here, well, people who, I mean, a lot of people probably know what a, how a coconut come. It's not just the one you see at the grocery store. There's mm -hmm. an outer shell. Oh. And what we did, and I forget who oh, taught me. outer shell? Yes, it's the big brown, it kind of. The big brown part? Yes. Okay, and find a coconut. That's on, what you see on the, at the store, though. No. What? There's a hard shell. And then there's an outer shell. An outer shell? Yes. And as kids, we used to take, find it, and then we'll show it. Coconut in its natural form, maybe. And then what we did is that we took the shell when we cut it open, and we took like they cut it in th in thirds. Oh, that. Mm -mm. Yeah. Well, you see the green part. Yeah. So it's when it's brown, when it's dry. Oh. So we took. You might want to show that. So. I know. I was just kind of. Try to find a different picture. So we take that one third of the shell and we strip it and turn like that. Yes, but it has to be the brown one. We didn't do the green one. We did the brown one. It's dry. Oh. Coconut is dry. So maybe you look up dry coconut. Oh. Exactly. There we go. Can you make that bigger? Let's see if I can get closer to the camera. There we go. Like that. Yeah. So we took one third because the way they cut the coconut, it looks as it has three sides. Mm -hmm. And we take one third of that and we would strip it. So we take like oh. a, a knife and we'll run it down and then we strip it and then we strip it off. And it comes out kind of like hair. So, oh. it, so it's like it's a little thicker than your hair. But we did that and then we turned that into like a doll. Like oh. the, not, so you put the face on the inside, but the whole back of that is hair. And we. <laughs> We used to do that and then pretend that was hair and we would braid it <laughs> and stuff. That is funny now that you're talking about making stuff for your doll and that came back to me. That and is funny. There used to be a, um, a museum. I don't even know if it's still open anymore. I can't remember. It might be, but they might not have the same stuff anymore. But when I was younger, my dad and I used to go to um, this museum up in San Jose, the San Jose Children's Museum. Mm. And there was this exhibit where they have like... Um, you can make little dolls out of the corn husk. Oh, yeah, and I've been there, And you take, like, yes. the corn husk, you fold it over, and you can, uh, like, tie, like, a belt yeah. around your waist, and you make arms, you roll it up, and it was really fun. Yes. Yeah. So I think, um, I would, I would try, this is funny, I would, I would definitely try that kind of flash back, is that what you would say? Flashback, yeah. Yes. Oh, my gosh, that was so funny. I mean, my sister and I and my cousins and stuff. We used to all do that technique. <laughs> yeah, I was saying I'm turning my room into a sci-fi room. So like I was making like, um, I was first starting with the, the, the little outlets, the little outlet covers, mm -hmm. and like making them look kind of like sci-fi. Like I took a bunch of stuff from around the house that like we haven't been used in a while that like would make it look like sci-fi and stuff. Oh, cool. Like I said, I'm a nerd. She's going to have to show video yeah. of that. So, oh, she got some. something to look forward to. Yeah. All right. And then I have, I have like, I have all kinds of plans. I'm going to, I have like this old yoga mat that I used to have. It's gray. So I'm going to use it, put it on the wall and kind of turn it into like, um, like a little, like, I need to get some LED lights because, uh. um, I don't but don't give away the whole thing well, now. True. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not like they're remote to picture it. Oh, really? She thinks we're all dumb. No, it's I'm just kidding, that I'm it's kidding. not going to look like what you're picturing, probably. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sounds exciting. I'm kind of taking a lot of in inspiration from the show Stargate that I love. Oh, okay. So I'm going to kind of make some stuff look like that. Oh, yeah. cool. I can't wait. 
<laughs> I'm super excited. Mm. Well, you know, I talked about the homemade toys that I did with my siblings and cousins and friends when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. If you guys want to share something you did as kids, yeah. you know, we would love to hear about it. Comment below. And maybe we'll maybe we'll try it for HGTV. Mm-hmm. Oh, that would be fun, yes. To try something that you guys did as mm -hmm. kids. Yes, share it, how you did it, what it was, you know, what caused you, what was what was the inspiration, you know? Um, it's not like we didn't have dolls. We had a we each had one doll, but it was fun playing with the coconut shell. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching and to, for tuning in. Mm -hmm. Um and as they say over at that neck pillow. We're not just selling neck pillows, we're changing lives. All right, goodbye. Bye.